Okay, so hello, welcome to the first in Strike Fighter 2 Blood Money. Uh, so in this game, so this is a flight, so just to let you know, uh, Strike Fighter 2 is, Strike Fighters 2 is a uh, flight sim game, a combat flight sim. Kind of like DCS, except it's older. It the last patch was from 2013, mid 2013, and it's basically been abandoned since then by uh, the guy who designed it, uh, TK. I think he's a Japanese guy, and I think he designed it all by himself. So kudos to him. I just wish he'd you know come back to it and update it, but yeah, because there's there's some inconsistencies and bugs that could be worked out. But anyways. So, uh, anyway, so Strike Fighter is, I'm, I'm not going to get in too deep into what it is and what it's about. Um, I'll do that in a separate video. But uh, Strike Fighters 2 is basically a, a sim light. So it's partway between an arcade game like, uh, Ace, like the Ace Combat series and uh, a study sim like, say, DCS World. So uh, you can't get in and just start blowing stuff, flying around and blowing stuff up like you can in Ace Combat. But you also don't have to read a 400 page manual just to be able to take the, get the plane off the runway and only to crash like five minutes, five seconds, five minutes later or something like that. Um, like you do in DCS World. So, uh, so you do need to practice a little, but you can generally just get right up in there and, and, and start doing stuff without needing to spend tons of time practicing. So I actually, I'm probably going to suck horribly because I haven't had a lot of time to practice, but we're going to be doing a campaign. And uh, I will note that uh, this main screen here is one that I uh, made myself. Um, I, I got a template uh, that I, I found a template that I could download and put in, put my own custom image in it that I found off Google. And Anyways, so... Uh, so we're going to be playing the mercenary campaigns that came with, because that came with the game, and you you can buy the game in like as one big bundle, or in separate parts. I just bought the big bundle, which is a little expensive, but you know, worth it. Anyways, so we're going to come to our pilot record screen, and so this is the pilot I've been using for like my practice runs and stuff, and so uh, so you can basically give your pilot a name. First and last name, call sign, it'll try, and you can even give them a picture, and you can actually add your own custom pictures. Um, it does come with some like generic pictures from like Vietnam, they're all black and white, but uh, I added some of my own custom pictures from my from my own collection. To anyway, so we're not going to be flying as James Crow. He's kind of my generic pilot that I fly with everything that's not a campaign. So we're going to play Blaze Rackham. Uh, Lawrence Rackham call sign Blaze is kind of a reference, kind of a homage to my first uh, foray into flight games with Ace Combat 5 way back on the PS2. Um, and I've, I've chosen Lawrence of Arabia uh, from Battlefield 1 as his image. Um, because the mercenary campaigns take place in a fictional Middle Eastern uh, scenario between two, so it's it takes place in the Middle East, but in a conflict between two uh, different mi fictional Middle Eastern nations. So, anyways, uh, we're gonna come down to campaign, and most of these screens you're seeing are, are custom screens. So, anyways, so we're gonna play as mercenaries. We're gonna play Operation Burning Sands, which is September first, nineteen fifty nine. So we're going to fly as the first Special Ops Wing, which is a mercenary unit flying for the Daimari here. We're going to fly the F-100D Sabre. We're going to come down here and get the Campaign Customizer, which is one of the DLCs you could get. So we're going to fly for the Blue Force. We're going to fly the Super Sabre. Now you'll notice that uh, there is a F-100C-65 Super Sabre. The F-100D is the latest model. We're going to fly it in generic silver rather than American silver. Service markings, mercenary. We're not going to be Blaze's squadron. We're going to be the first special ops wing. Um, actually, you know, what? we're going to be 
another homage. We're going to be War Dog. Nah, we're not going to be War Dog Squadron. We're going to be Scorpion. The uh, first Scorpion Wing. We're going to play the fir as the first Scorpion Wing. Normal campaign difficulty. Uh, unlimited weapon supply. Yes, we want to play as mercenaries, and I'm going to increase that margin just of starting range just a little bit to 15,000. Okay, so we're going to have unlimited weapon supply, which is nice. So we're going to accept this. And. Okay, there we go. So. Uh, I'm going to name this Scorpion Wing 1959 Burning Sands. And I'll go accept. Sound of a typewriter. Uh, this game can be kind of loud. I have turned the volume down, so... Uh, if I need to, I'll adjust the volume with the next video. Anyways, so uh, September. So anyways, so Operation Burning Sands in September of 1959, troops from the Empire Puran, led by Shah Kamar and backed by the Soviet Union, cross the border and invade the Kingdom of Daimar. In response, the United Nations passes a resolution to defend the kingdom from this aggression. The first Scorpion Wing mercenary is formed by Prince Fayyad of Daimar as an emergency buildup of air power to supplement the under-equipped Daimari Air Force. Uh, so let's see, September 18th, 1959, 13, 19, 12 hours. So, thir so uh, yeah, September 18th, 1959, 13, 19 hours. Daimok Air Base near 2nd Daimari Air Defense Battery. Kingdom of Daimar, somewhere in the Middle East. Okay. So I guess it just automatically takes there eventually. So, uh, there's supposed to be a, an F-100 here, but for uh, for some reason, I've modded my game heavily, and so I think something's wrong, and this is the D, it's showing the default hangar screen rather than the one with an F-100. So I'll show you on the runway. So, okay, so our first mission objective is to strike a strategic target located in per, uh, Peron, at the Perani border post 4, attack and destroy the enemy warehouse. Call sign is going to be Kingfish. We're going to be we're assigned two Super Sabers to start with. So first, let's check the map. Oh boy, that's a long flight. Okay, so they're asking us to strike a warehouse here. Really, they couldn't have put us any closer. Like, really? Really? Oh, whatever. Okay, so... Yeah, okay, so there looks like there's going to be quite a few aircraft in the area. Let's see. In the area, you're going to include... Uh, nearby... Hunters... Pirani, so yeah, Pirani, the Piran is going to have, looks like two hunter squadrons nearby, right near, right next to the bait, what we're aiming for basically, so, uh, they're going to have some more hunters to the rear, uh, there's a bomber squadron over here, there's a bomber wing over here, uh, another bomber wing, uh, more bombers. I find it funny that they're backed by the Russians, but most of their f and you know they've got Russian bombers, the the Beagle, but all of their fighters are hunters, which are British aircraft. <laughs> uh, anyways, so we're gonna be flying a pretty long distance. Um, Pretty decent distance is going to take us like, if we follow the waypoints, it should take us about 30 minutes to get to waypoint 5. And these maps are actually a little smaller than real life. No, because uh, the way things are. So, um, I'm going to take 
Let's see who I want to take. Uh, I don't think I want to take you as my wingman. I want to take. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take Snake as my wingman. Tony, uh, and I'm gonna add two more air, two more fighters. So Kingfish as leader of the next flight with. Uh, Goose backing him up. Let's hope, let's hope Goose doesn't die this time. <laughs> uh, top Gun joke. Anyways, okay, so we've got four F-100s. I am not going to be number zero, zero. I'm going to be number 14. Alright. So, generic silver mercenary. Okay, so... I'm going to, well first of all, I'm going to equip myself with four Sidewinders. And these are AIM-9Bs, they're not the best, but I'm playing in more of an arcade, I'm showing off more of the arcade features in this game because I can't fly an actual fight, flight sim worth crap, which is why, as much as I love DCS World, I cannot, I cannot play with it. Uh, let's see, what do we got? Uh, depth charges. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think those are those would work very well. Um, so I know I want 100. Fuel is actually cheap, free, so I'm going to take 100% fuel, even though I have unlimited fuel ammo. Uh, I want full ammo, even though I have unlimited gun ammo. Uh, let's see what I want to. What kind of weapons do I want to take? Do they have any? Uh, do they have any cluster bombs? Doesn't oh, it looks like they have incendiary clusters? Um, okay, so I'm gonna take uh, two one thousand. Okay, yeah, so I'm just gonna yeah, I'm gonna take four five hundred pound bombs for the ground attack. So we currently have sixteen super sabers. And for some reason, you, you like I can buy other aircraft once I have the money, um, but for some reason I can't buy any more super sabers, which is really weird. So maybe I get resupplied with them after, uh, like if I lose sabers, maybe when the resupply comes, I'll like get more or something. I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna give. Uh, you a bunch of fight. I'm just gonna give my wingman six hundred, six five hundred pound bombs. And let's see, Kingfish one three. I will give him uh, some five hundred pounder years and four sidewinders. You know, let's leave those empty. I'll give him two 500 pounders, and if in case I need him to do some ground attacks, two 500 pounder, and same for. So yeah, they're gonna be. So I'm gonna have uh, Kingfish, the my second flight, Kingfish one and Kingfish three and four. I'm gonna have them be our top cover. Maybe have them drop some bombs if I need to. Uh, Kingfish one two is gonna drop a bunch of bombs and. I'm going to carry bombs and sideliners so I can do both. Right. Okay, so... Let's see... Okay, so it looks like it's supposed to be like a 15 minute mission, maybe? Uh, let's see, timing 21.53. One twenty-seven. Oh yeah, this could be a long hour. This could be a long trip. Um, yeah, it's, it looks like it's supposed to take about an hour. Okay, hopefully it won't take that in game because we have um, yeah, because we have time compression. So, anyways, so I'll load in. I might cut this out. Loading can be kind of slow, depend because I have quite a few mods installed on on in this game, and so it, that slows loading time down some. But otherwise, you know, we're good.
All right, almost there. Now that we're loaded in, I'm going to switch to the external view. I'm going to show you this pretty saber. So this this is the super saber. I don't know. I don't know if I call it the prettiest plane, but it's uh, it's certainly a decent looking plane. What's what's with that? Um, okay, that's weird. Reach out. Anyways, okay, so. Uh, let me pick the view out. Okay, I don't know. Okay, so we're going to pick the gun sight view there. We're going to throttle up. So this is actually a supersonic plane from the late 50s. And disengage the wheel brakes. Kick the tires. Light the fires. Let's go. And the plane basically just lifts right up in the air, so we're going to throttle back out of afterburner to about 60%. Now, uh, I'm not using any really fancy equipment. I've basically got a, a cheap joystick. It's a Extreme 3D Pro with a little throttle unit on it, and that's what I'm using. I'm just using that and my keyboard and my mouse. And uh, that's it. I'm hoping I can save up and... Get a, a Thrustmaster TWCS throttle to go with it. Yeah, I like I like that new voice that I mod that I down that I got. Anyways, let's head for waypoint two. Let's climb to waypoint. Let's keep climbing. Wait for my wingman to take off. Okay, um, right. so we two is currently airborne and coming around. Uh, oops. <laughs> okay. Uh, I always forget to retract my landing gear and flaps until I like check the external view, and so sometimes I'll be like, "I'll." <laughs> gosh. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just. I'm just horrible at that. That's. That's the one thing I can never do properly. You know what, we're going to... I don't know if we're going to go all the way up to where waypoint 2 is trying to point us. I kind of want to keep it a little lower, because we're going on a ground attack mission, so I don't want to go too high. Okay, 3 is now airborne. I'm going to level out at about 6,300 feet. And I'm going to check behind me, see where my wingmen all are. Um, okay, where are they? Uh, F6, wait, um... Okay, so four is airborne. Uh, where are my wingmen? Ah, oh, there they are. Kingfish one three is down there. Kingfish one two is down there. Ah, oh, they're they're like way down there in the dirt. Okay. So um. To rejoin. Ah, uh, it's not working. To rejoin. Flight one, rejoin. Mm. Oh, my voice attack was working. Ah, oh, crap. Squadron, rejoin. Uh, 
Alright, where are they all? Oh my god, what are you... What are you people doing? You're all the way back there! Alright. Okay, whatever. I'll circle around. Yeah, I always tend to suffer a bit of pop-up when I'm t okay. There's waypoint three that we're heading for. Let me check where my wingmen are. Um, up there. There's Kingfish 1, 2, there, yeah, there's Kingfish 2, 3, and 4. Alright, join up, people. Two, status check. Two, status check. Yeah, whatever. I'm dealing with it. I'll have to fix that. Anyways, time compression, go. Let's compress the time. It'll give us a, make it time move a little faster. Ugh. Why? Why couldn't my voice attack work? Why couldn't I look all fancy with my voice attack? Yeah, whatever. Bit of a bummer though. I was hoping I could use it. Okay, there's our warehouse target way out there in the distance. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> Okay, that was scary. It's like, oh crap, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna hit the ocean. That's not good. Okay, so we're now down to about 6,000 feet. Let's check my... Check my there's Kingfish 4. There's a beagle out there. Uh, maybe I should have given them drop tanks. Apparently they don't get unlimited ammo, unlimited fuel like I do. Well, that sucks. Um, okay. Uh, the tab, wingman, uh, status check. I'm going to start a broad rudder turn towards waypoint 4. I'm going to speed up time to get there. There's our warehouse target highlighted behind the right windshield brace. Frame, whatever. Hey, oh boy. Okay, I don't think those are uh, too much of a worry for us quite yet. We're heading uh, roughly south, so. They're heading in the opposite direction, and they're behind us, so not the biggest concern. Our mission is the warehouse. Mm 
I'm just going to pick them all manually. Alright. So we are approaching the warehouse. Okay, so. Uh, tab, wingman. Tap my target. Uh, let's see. Tab, flight one. Uh, three. Alright, so we're going to get down to about a thousand feet for leveling out for our final run-in. I'm making one pass then haul an ass like this, like they say in the real world. One pass, haul ass. You don't want to linger around, especially when there's AAA up there. That's, that's not pretty. Get into a bit of a shallower pro. Okay, yeah, we need to get loose some altitude. And level out about here. Yeah, so we're coming in a little lower than I thought to line up on the warehouse. Come in a little bit faster. Yeah, give it 60, give it a little more throttle. All right. Wait for it. All right. Let's see if I can hit it. Oh, okay, there there goes the flag. Damn, missed. Hmm. Yeah, I think we all missed. Damn. going to start yes all right we're out of here throttle back a little I didn't I didn't do one pass and haul ass like I said I would, but that target needed to die. So there's Kingfish 1-4. Where's 1-3 and 1-2? There's 1-3. Oh, and there's 1-2. Come on, rejoin.
All right. We did it. Hit our target. I'm gonna rattle down just a bit, let these guys catch up. Go down to 46%. Let's see if that gives them enough time to catch up. No, there's. I'm still gaining on them. That's weird. Hmm. Oh, good. Okay, fine. Complete the mission. <laughs> I wouldn't even be able to land this thing anyways. Oh, sweet. We learned 21,000. Two F-100s were damaged. Crap. Okay. So I'm going to save that here. And accept. Okay. So... That's it for today. Uh, I don't know if this mission will be the same when I come back. The the campaigns in Strike Fighters 2 are... Um, they're like... They're procedurally generated, randomized, however you want to call it. Uh, dyna they're dynamic. Dynamic campaign, yeah. So we may um, end up with a different target. So, uh, yeah, that is it for today. So I will see you later.